welcome Consul General Udi Roman. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. And I wanted to thank you for inviting me, Steve, and Corbin. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, congratulations to Dr. Weinstein for his vision and for his hard work to realize that vision. And of course, congratulations to the honoree, to Eric Mollander, Dr. Mollander, where are you? Oh, right here. I saw you on the big screen. Congratulations to you uh, for this honor. You know, I recently met with someone who's a very senior executive in the American pharmaceutical industry, who happens to be Jewish, but uh, the fact that he's Jewish, I don't think is that relevant. But the statement that he made to me said, I believe that if there is going to be a solution to the most difficult medical conditions and problems that mankind faces today, this solution, I believe, can come from only one place, and that is the state of Israel. He told me that, believe it or not, with all the medical progress, and there are people in this audience that are experts on this field way more than an Israeli diplomat, but uh, with all the medical progress that we achieve, the main medical conditions and problems that we face were yet to be cracked. And autism, as Dr. Weinstein described, is emerging as a huge problem, not only in America, but also in Israel and other societies. Now, when you think about what is it that Israel brings to the table, we're not big in might, although we do have a mighty military force. But our economy is small, only $260 billion GNP. Our income per capita is 30% lower than yours. We have only 7.8 million people. So what is it that we bring to the table that positions Israel to produce such a great scientific prospect in the future? It's the sense of mission, and above all, the amazing, creative Israeli spirit, one of innovation and resilience. There's one thing that you need to know about Israel. There's one thing that you need to know about the DNA of the Jewish people. It's all about, and, and I challenge you to go back and, and examine Jewish and Israeli history, it's all about the refusal to accept limitations. Physical limitations, geographical limitations, military limitations, financial limitations, and scientific limitations. It's all about the permission to ask questions, to break new ground, and to discover new territory, sometimes on chart. And this is what I believe Dr. Weinstein, with the help of Dr. Hollander, are about to embark. And I'm very happy to be standing here representing not only the Israeli government, but also the mayor of the city of, uh, of Jerusalem, near Barkat, who's a close friend of mine, and the leadership of the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, thanking all of you for making this dream a reality. Because I believe that this center will serve as a source of inspiration, not only for the entire medical community and the practitioners, but also to all the millions of families that were affected by autism. So on behalf of the Israeli government, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here and supporting this great project, and God bless you all. Thank you so much.